Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are on really my solo game, but we are doing an Ascendant Creature series today, guys, because I have finally tamed up a Noctis. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, but the major problem with the Noctis, once you get it tamed, is that it comes out at level 100 pretty much no matter what. Um, and it does have the stats of a regular Equus. Now, I do love the Noctis. It's very, very cool. It has a lava jump, um, and it does do this really neat little fireball attack that actually does do damage. Um, and then, of course, it's got its little head-throwing attack like most Equus do. So it's a very cool little creature, but it is kind of weak as soon as it comes out of the dungeon. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and do an Ascendant series on this guy. And for those of you who have been asking, uh, these Ascendant creature videos, guys, they are not a hack. They are an actual purchasable feature from the store. Um, this block here that says already owned, it's the Ascendant creature unlock. You can only get it on single player and it is about $20 normally. I did get it on sale when it first came out for about um, 14, I believe. So a little bit less, but yeah. Basically, the Ascendant Creature Unlock um, is a feature. You can go into your options under, whoops, there we go, Game. And then you have this little option here, Disable Ascendant XP. Because this is my normal um, single player save, I usually keep that Ascendant XP disabled because it allows your creatures to level up infinitely, as many times as you can gain the XP for. Um, so I am going to go ahead and turn that off for today so that we can do an Ascendant series on this guy and so that you guys realize it is an actual feature of the game. It's not what I would consider a hack in any way, shape, or form. Um, and now we can gain XP for quite a long time. I think there's a limit of like 2 billion XP, but it's about 8,550 levels. So more than enough to do quite a bit with. All right. Now, when you use this in conjunction with the God Console, you can actually just level up your target as many, many times as you want. Um, and it does add about 10 levels per, per hit here. So if we go ahead and check how many levels we have to add now, we have 223 levels now. So I did hit that about um, 22 times. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep tapping that button a little bit. Um, and once we get a few more levels pumped in, I will bring you guys back and we will start testing out this Noctis. I think we're going to go for health, melee, and um, potentially something else. We'll kind of check it out as we go. But health and melee, I think for sure, so that we can get just a super OP Noctis and hopefully um, hit some stuff with that fireball attack. All right, guys. So I will see you in just a minute once I've got this guy all leveled up. All right, guys, so we are back. Uh, this Noctis now has all of the levels on it um, that I can possibly put into it. We've hit the limit of what the God Console can add. Um, as you see, I'm hitting that level up self, which does level up the creature you're riding when you're riding a creature and not me. And yeah, this, uh, this Noctis is officially completely done here. So let's go ahead and turn off these two buttons here so that we can actually get a good idea of this Noctis's abilities. And I'm just going to go ahead and put um, a few levels here into health. I think I want to get up to around maybe let's actually go to like 50k health just to make sure we have a decent amount. Um, and then we'll also level up a little bit of melee. There we go. Um, how much melee should we put in? A bit. Just a little. Just a tiny bit of melee. It's fine. <laughs> Something like that. Um, I am going to go and use the heal all button just so that we don't die immediately. And let's go start fighting. Oh yes. I love it. We can one hit kill just about anything, um, instantly. Can I hit you? Yas. Oh my gosh, I can, as long as you can hit them with the fireball, which is a little bit tricky. Yes, I can kill things with fireballs. Oh, it makes me happy. I like that it can one hit kill stuff. Um, that's actually beautiful. Nice. 
Oh my gosh. Actually amazing. Hi friend, no friend. All right, no, no annoying little dillos today. This is awesome, guys. I love the Noctis' fireball ability. I think it's really fun. I'm really glad that the Noctis does have a super unique attack, um, and it's kind of a distance attack too, which is super amazing. And it does that, which is uh, extra great. Hi, can you not? There we go. <laughs> uh, we're so strong. The dark unicorn is showing its fangs. His little lava trail. He's so good already, guys, and we've barely done anything to him yet. Um, let's go up Far's Peak. Sometimes there is some pretty good stuff up Far's Peak. I hope we run into a Giga, because I really would like to test out um, just how well we do against a Giga with this guy. I think we would probably win even at this rate. Might take a while, but it would be cool. That's a very beautiful griffin. Very beautiful indeed. Come here. Nope. Alright. Missed with the fireballs because it flew around, but uh, did get it with the regular horn attack. Oh my goodness. Noctis are so, so cool. They really are just like a reskinned unicorn, but that fireball ability is super neat. They do look super cool in my opinion. I know some people are not super in love with the way that the Noctis looks, but I think it's actually pretty good. Um, I definitely am enjoying having it and using it. I think it's a, a very beautiful creature, and I'm honestly just glad that we have another creature to hang out on and to ride around on because um, it's kind of fun. There's not that many, I feel, trophy mounts on on Ark, and the Noctis is nothing if not a trophy mount. So I'm actually really happy that there's at least one. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get. It is rare, and yeah, it's just super good. I'm really, I'm really excited that we actually managed to get this guy. All right. Are there... There are a lot of griffins, which is unusual. But I'm not seeing any gigas. So I might go ahead and check um, Frozen Fang over that way. Which is pretty good, usually. Can we... There we go. Frozen Fang sometimes has a giga on it, if nothing else does. Now, what I do want to do before we go up there is level up just a little bit of movement speed here. Maybe up to like 500% or so. Yeah, just about 500%. Just enough so that we can get some really good air. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on invulnerable so that we don't die when we leap off this cliff. I just wanted the really long lava trail. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, that was necessary to my to my plan here. Um, <laughs> oh man, the speed really, the speed really makes it, honestly, because without the speed, we would not be able to do half that much. It does make it a little bit harder to move around, but we don't have to run all of the time, um, which is totally fine. All right, let's go ahead and trot over this way, see if we can find a Giga or a Titan up here in the snow biome. This is usually where I find Gigas and Titans, um... On my Ascendant Creature series, there's usually quite a few in the area. Hi, Rex. Bye, Rex. <laughs> and there's a Titan, as expected. Cool. So, um, yeah, it works, like, every time. It's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit more melee here, just because I don't think we do quite that much damage, and I would love to kill this thing with mostly fireballs. So let's go ahead and go up to, like, 10k, and then maybe a little extra little extra health as well um, just to make sure that we don't die I would like to do that and we still have plenty plenty of levels left over that we can use for other things in the future um, if we so choose all right let's go ahead and turn off invulnerable turn on heal all hi buddies yeah get out of here all right here we go guys we're gonna go ahead and kill this Titan just because because we can Did I, did I hit it? I hit it. Yas. I hit it. How much damage did I do? I can't even see. Oh, not that much. Alright, I'm hitting it with the fireballs. We do not do a ton of damage to this guy. He, he hurts quite a bit, and there is a cooldown, unfortunately, on the fireballs. 
I mean, it does a fair amount. It does something like 10, 10-ish K damage. Um, definitely not as good as the regular horn attack where we should be using both of them. He's stomping me pretty hard here. I see you, I see you. Yes, it hurts very much, hi. All right, let's go ahead and use our, our fireball again. There we go. Getting a decent amount of damage in here. All right, we can beat this guy. I have faith. We're not even to half health yet, we're doing great. Oh, the fireball is so much fun. It actually does a lot of damage if you get it up close enough. Um, the further away it is, the less damage it does, it looks like. We actually... Did that hit it? I think it hit it. Beautiful. Eh. No, don't get stuck on rocks. Downside of being too fast. Oop. Alright, we're gonna beat this titan. I'm determined. Yes. Alright. We're hitting it with the fireballs, we're hitting it with our horn, it's eventually gonna go down. It is running, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too terribly difficult to defeat here. Eh. I love when they start running because they get so much easier to kill. Nope. Nope. Come here. I don't know where it's going. It's wandering very, very far away from the snow biome at this point. The fireball attack is a bit slow. That is the only thing that I have to say about it, is that um, as good as it is, as cool as it is, the fireball attack is quite, quite slow compared to what I would actually love to see on this guy. Um, a little bit faster would be nice just so you can get a little bit more done, and then I would like a slightly less long cooldown. Either way, um, I'm still really happy with it. I mean, the cooldown sucks, but I understand why it's there. It's um, it's unusual for, like, a unicorn or any sort of land mount to have a distance attack like that. Um, and the effects of it are quite strong, so if you could spam it, I'm sure it would cause some serious lag. Or could do, um, especially on a weaker device. Alright, come here. Kill this guy. You're so close to being dead, just go down. Eh. If I can get him down a little more. Fireball. Nope, I missed. Fireball. Yep. There it is. I think we hit the rock and not him. I'm gonna get you. It's gonna hurt. The fall hurts a lot. Oh no. Uh, it doesn't hurt that bad actually because it's a unicorn. Can we? Nope, 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 nope. Stuck on trees. Oh my gosh. I hate these rocks. Come here. Where's the titan? There it is. Come here. We're almost there, buddy. I missed. I like that you can kind of aim the attack of the fireballs by turning the head of the creature. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna kill it with fireballs. Can I? Yes! I managed it. OP. Oh my gosh. Look at us just prancing around. We're so proud of ourselves. We killed a titan. It was a little bit messy, but that's because I didn't put as much into the, uh health and melee as I normally do, but we're still super, super strong, and this is actually, we only have 500% movement speed on this thing, and it is super fast. Oh my gosh. I'm, uh, I'm actually a little bit, like, blown away by how fast this thing is. I wonder how much oxygen do we have? Only 300. Um, why not? <laughs> Let's put a little oxygen in here. Let's do a little bit of a diving trip. Um, the real problem here is going to be me and not uh, not the actual Noctis. So let's just put enough on there to make sure that we don't die immediately. And uh, yeah, let's head over to the ocean. Pretty sure there won't be too much in there that's interesting, but um, yeah, it still is going to be super fun to like fly around in the actual ocean like this. Nope, I was going to leap off and be all dramatic, and then I leapt sideways, which is not what I wanted. Alright. And we hit a tree. <laughs> There's too many trees on the map, I swear. I can't, I can't properly run and leap and jump the way I would like to. Um, you have to, like, go up a mountain to, to leap properly, which makes me kind of sad. Alright. 
Now, I do wonder, um, it's got to be unusual. Yep. It's a little bit strange to have an underwater Noctis, I feel. Can we... Oh, the fireball attack doesn't work while you're swimming. It does not work. Yep, that actually makes so much sense. This is a lava horse. Uh, it looks like we've turned completely green. I'm actually really glad they didn't put in some weird mechanic like, you know, horse dies if you enter the water, because that would be a huge bummer. I would understand why they would do that, but it would make me super sad if they had made it die. But I do understand the not having um, the lava attack underwater, which is a little sad, honestly. I would love to have it be just a little better. We are super fast underwater. Hi, Plessies. Come here. There's one. And can you get in my hitbox range, please? Please? No? Come here. Nope. Come here. Okay, I can't hit it. We're too fast already. Only 500% movement speed, and we are way, way, way too fast for this guy. Um, <laughs> I love it, though. You can basically circle the oceans on these guys. Hello, lead sick these. Um, and they, they're so fast. Like, any horse, if you just level up movement speed, is insanely fast underwater. Uh, it's actually kind of, kind of impressive, honestly. All right, I got my oxygen back, so we're all good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick save here and make sure that none of our footage gets lost. And then I think, guys, we're going to do a little bit more movement speed. Um, just see what we can do with that and have a little bit of fun with it. So I will bring you guys back in uh, just a minute here. All right, guys, so we are back. Um, I went ahead and leveled up the Noctis here. So we do have 5,065 movement speed. And we are going to test this out. I am already having trouble steering. Oh boy, I don't even want to know. Yeah, we're... I think we just glitched through an iceberg. We're massively fast in the water. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh nope, we got it. We got the flying bug. <laughs> I love it. I, I may turn on invulnerable just in case here. Um... I trust nothing anymore once I get up to this movement speed because I always, we always end up flying across the map and it just, it makes me nervous. Um, now we're only at 5,000% movement speed, so this is the normal walk. <laughs> and uh, briefly, let's see if we can get the run going. It's a little bit rocky here. There it is. For about two seconds, we were able to get the run Really, the ocean is um, actually the best place to test movement speed because you can go so, so fast with it. And we're going to bounce off the world wall, aren't we? Yes, I think we are. Yep, there it is. Hi. Straight down. <laughs> it's unfortunate that you don't bounce off of it like you do... Um, like you do for, like, the terror bird because I think that would actually be really, really fun. Oh my gosh, we're so fast. Up, and there we go. How far can we fly? With our little lava trail of gorgeousness. Uh, whoop. I don't know what we hit. We bounced off of something. Okay. I'm gonna carefully maneuver back up here. Exit slowly. There we go. This beach is one of the best places I've found to actually test out movement speed because there's so much space. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so we hit some trees, but overall, pretty darned good. Um, pretty fast on land. I would say 5k is plenty. Definitely stressing out my game. My phone is heating up something fierce while we're doing this, but it is okay. I think it's going to be fine in the long run. Oh my gosh. Hi, Dodos. Aw, I missed. Oh well. They were on a rock. The rock saved them. <laughs> Guess it makes sense. Um, oh gosh. I'm just having so much trouble steering. Man, I haven't even used all of the levels on the Noctis yet. Like, it could be... It could be so, so amazing. Oh man, I would love to do... Actually, I want to do this, and then leap through it. 
I gotta wait for the cooldown now. I think it would be super cool. Can you... There it is. It would look cool, I think, if you got it done just right. I don't think it's gonna be an easy thing to do, um, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, we're just gonna circle the whole map here at this rate. Well, I would actually love if there was a Tuso right now. I think that would be really funny. Sometimes Tuso spawn here. Not usually, but sometimes. I've never found a Tuso on my single player game. I would like to. I think that would be fun. I think that would be great. Would be would be really fun to find and fight a Tuso right now with this guy since we're so strong and so fast, but eh, I can I can always dream someday. Someday I will find a Tuso when I actually want one. All right, let's go ahead and head back up. Whoop, there we go. I just love it. We have the most ridiculously OP Noctis that ever existed. <laughs> And I love it, guys. I think it's super fun. And if you do have, um, if you do have the Ascendant Creature Unlock, I do actually kind of recommend using it on this guy because they come out at such a low level, no matter what difficulty you're on, and they're not breedable. So if you have the Ascendant Creature Unlock, um, maybe just put a few extra levels into this guy so he actually gets up to be a decent level. I'm not talking like 8,000 levels, but if you like to have a normal gameplay with a creature and you want to use the Noctis, I would definitely put just a little bit extra love into this guy, and I think he would be um, pretty awesome and definitely pretty strong. Uh, can we? Nope. All right. Because even at like level 500, you could put a few thousand health on this guy, and he would be a lot sturdier. Um, and you could also do a little bit... Just a little bit of uh, melee as well, which would be fun. I don't recommend movement speed if you want your game to be able to actually, like, play without getting super, super, uh, super warm in your hands. <laughs> Not great. All right, I want to jump off this cliff, but it's very difficult to... Can we... I'm just going to kill these copies. There we go. It's very difficult to maneuver without leaping forward in the wrong direction. I want to go that way, and we're, I guess we're going. <laughs> oh, man. And we almost crashed. Um, I love it, though. It's so much fun messing around with the, uh, the movement speed on these guys and everything, basically. I love the Ascendant creatures. I think they're just a lot of fun to play with and to, uh, to experiment with. Obviously, some of them work better than others. Anytime you get too much movement speed, it becomes a problem, but a small amount can actually be great. All right, guys. So, yeah. I do think that that is actually going to do it for today's episode. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.